Are you looking for a unique hike to do in the state of Virginia? I think I got it for you today. Hey there guys, I'm RVA Hiker Girl and I have a brand new trail in Virginia to show you today. I'm gonna hop on this trail and tell you all about it. So come join me and let's go take a look at it. It's not very often that a brand new trail opens up that you can go explore in Virginia. So this particular trail is underneath of the mountain 700 feet of the mountain is going to be over top of my head for almost a mile and this trail was built a railroad used to go through there um, back in the 1850s and there's no light so you have to have your own light source to go through you can ride your bikes through it you can walk through it so I'll show you the trail, show you what it looks like inside the tunnel, and I am just ready to explore this trail. There are a lot of people out today enjoying this trail and are just as excited about it as I am. I will say I'm a little bit fearful when I go through the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel that goes under the Chesapeake Bay, I, I'm scared. I'm afraid it's gonna spring a leak. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little afraid of the mountain falling down on top of me. I've watched too many West Virginia coal mine collapse movies on TV, but I am ready to get out of my comfort zone and check this place out. I am a quarter of a mile in to the trail and it's this flat surface so you could actually I'm pretty sure um, if you have a wheelchair it's going to be wheelchair accessible as long as you don't mind pushing it this distance and over this particular surface and that's a great thing but so far this is what it's looking like they have several of these placards along the way where you can read all about the history of this tunnel if you want to pause the video and check it out and read some of this. Oh wow, how cool is that? This is what it looks like. This is what the walls look like inside. There's a lot of water dripping. There's literally water on both sides of the trail as you go down. And that light you see at the other end, that is the other end of the tunnel. And you'll see headlights. There's a lot of people with uh, headlights on because that's the only way you can see. That's the only light inside the tunnel. All right, here we go. The water's dripping as I'm walking in. A little bit scary. Ooh, the lighting. There we go. It's getting dark. 
<laughs> Not gonna lie, it's kind of scary. But there's 700 feet of mountain on top of me that could come down at any point in time. I can do it. I can do it. Got my headlamp and a flashlight. So this is how dark it is in here. I'm probably about in the middle of the tunnel right now. It's kind of scary doing this solo. I'm doing it though. It's really cool. And the trail inside is very well done. The, the path, I've got my other flashlight right here too so I can kind of see where I'm walking as well as I'm videoing. But yeah. The trail is nice um, on the inside of the tunnel, so you don't have to worry about falling and tripping over rocks. There are a few ruts um, in the trail from the water that's draining um, off the mountain. It's 50 degrees in here year round. So that's pretty neat, a nice cool place to come in the summertime. So I don't see any more headlights at this part of the tunnel. I am literally in the tunnel by myself. <laughs> oh, this really feeds my sense of adventure, but it also feeds a little bit of my fear. Oh, but I'm doing it, I'm, I'm at least halfway through right now. See, that is the other end of the tunnel. That's how far away it is. Here's more of the brick inside, and here's where it's all wet in the water. Tripping in. You can hear it. As I'm walking through here, it's just really cool to think that. 150 years ago that this tunnel was built and the number of people that have gone through here the number of people it took to build it and then all the people that came through here on trains it's really cool to think think about also something I read it said that the Civil War soldiers um, I believe it was from the Confederate side used this tunnel to cross through the mountain instead of over the mountain. So that's a nice little piece of Virginia history as well. Oh, so cool in here, guys. I'm so glad I came out to do it and doing it solo. You know, that sense of a little bit of danger, but I'm almost at the end. I'm doing it. I did it, but then I gotta turn around and walk back through. <laughs> to get to my car. Oh. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, I had to. <laughs> Made of it. Made it through. This is what the other side looks like. What a really cool experience. Okay, so to give you a little bit more info, this side is the Waynesboro entrance. 
and this is the parking lot that was closed. This one's got about 25 parking spaces. The other entrance where I started at, that is the Afton entrance, and that one has about 15 parking spaces. However, you can make a few more on the side of the road as you're coming in. I'm not sure how long they're going to allow that if they're gonna start towing because this is gonna be a super popular trail. And with the other entrance closed and that's only 15 parking spaces for the number of people that want to come visit here, that's gonna be causing some problems I can see in the future. My final thoughts on this trail, it is so awesome to see young, old, people walking, people on bikes enjoying the outdoors. Virginia, you did good in getting this trail open. There is so much anticipation with people walking up to this trail to go check it out. I'm so glad I'm one of the first ones. It just opened last week. Um, there are so many people here. There's a bunch of people coming um, about to walk up, um, to walk by me. But yeah, come out, check out this trail. Beware though, not a lot of parking on the weekends. It's gonna be tough to get in here. And I'm sure they're gonna be enforcing towing in this area because it's a lot of small businesses and homes and private property. But anyway, come check out this trail. All right, guys, as always, thank you for checking out my hike today. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not, because I'm always bringing you new hikes in the state of Virginia and Maryland. Until next time. These awesome leggings that I wore in this video were sponsored by PureVenetic.com.